All right, there. Welcome to today's YouTube Live Study Trade Edition. It is a Friday, so I wanted to make things a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter, and not go through stock analysis and all that kind of stuff. But uh, go through something that actually I've received a crazy amount of questions on over, really over years. And people are always asking me, Serge, what is your trading setup? I've actually made a video on that before. Well, people are also asking me, what's the advantage of having a laptop for your trading and investing versus all sorts of screens? Now, let me say that both works, and I do have both, right? So, as you can see, I've got screens. I've got a couple of offices, but in each one of my offices, I have four screens. Now, a lot of that is also because I make videos, I do presentations. It's not really just for the trading. In fact, most of my market stuff, for the most part, is usually just on one screen, Okay, so one of the one of the things I'll say here is that a lot of people that uh, have all these screens, it's also kind of because maybe they're day trading or they're just too active about it. What I found is that the more organized I am, the more I'm using my top down approach that I always talk about the SSO system, the more honestly, I can do everything on this. This is a 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro, you can do whatever laptop when you use but the point is, I, I use this just, I, I can do everything on this as much as I can do it on here in terms of desktop real estate, but it all has to do, it all has to do with how, how organized you are. You know, I spend plenty of time in airports and, and, and airplanes and I don't need this. And what I found out over, over the years is that the more of this I have, I used to actually have six screens on my desks. The more of this I have, the more I am kind of just scattered around. And I'm gonna make a separate video on this in the near future, and I'll tell you exactly what I have when I have just one screen, okay? But I'll, I'll give you another example. So I just hosted a workshop in Fort Lauderdale, Florida last week, and there are people in there, some of them have big setups like that, some of them are, don't even have a laptop, some don't even have a smartphone, but they all somehow managed to make it work uh, with very little, very little desktop real estate. Another thing we're going to talk about going forward is how you can trade and invest just on your uh, on your smartphone, which I'm recording this on my smartphone, so I can't show you. But it's all about having an alert system. So what I'm trying to tell you, to make a long story short, it doesn't really matter. You don't need this to be a, a successful trader or investor, but what you do need is to be well organized. And again, if you're well organized, you have a top-down way of looking at the market it's enough to have one screen. And this is something that honestly, for many years, I didn't understand. It took me a long time to get to this point. But the more you have just a few watch lists, you know what to look for, you have alerts set, and you have a process that you follow, the less desktop real estate you need. I'd, be, I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments down below of what works for you, whether you need a big thing like this, of four screens or six screens or eight screens, or if you're okay on this. And again, in my, my empirical evidence of 20 years of doing this, it's, it's, it's not required to have all, all this stuff. It's nice to have if you have to do research, but really from a market following perspective, trade execution, you don't need this. You only need this. And again, I would say in summary, what I found is that the more I'm focused on just a few things and having my system and sticking to it, the less, uh, the less desktop real estate I need and the more I'm actually focused on just the things that I need to do, which is make money in the markets. Uh, a lot of people also find it to be entertaining to buy all sorts of screens, and quite frankly, I certainly fell into that because the places I used to work at before, JP Morgan and family offices, they always had a lot of screens, but it wasn't just because they execute trades, it was just because there was a lot of different information coming in from a broker perspective and all, and, and all sorts of stuff like that, but that's not really the case for most traders and investors at home. So I hope this was helpful. Give us a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and we'll see you in the next YouTube Live.